I'm not going to actually do a video for this. I'm going to just show the products and you'll hear my voice in the background. We're going to start with Boost Your Box. There's three items that FabFitFun has spoiled for Boost Your Box. First one is the Sunday Riley CEO Glow Vitamin C and Turmeric Face Oil. I looked up this oil. It is the 1.18 ounce size and that makes the retail value $80. So it's a very expensive product. Some of the key ingredients, it has THD ascorbate, and that is a form of vitamin C. It's actually a very stable form of vitamin C. The most common used vitamin C is L-ascorbic acid, and that one oxidizes quickly. It basically doesn't last very long. The THD ascorbate is actually a much more stable form of vitamin C, and it's also fat soluble. So sometimes they say that that can go deeper in your skin because it is fat soluble. Vitamin C reverses signs of aging, so anything from our environment causing that, stress, lifestyle, pollution, all of that, it'll reduce those signs that create fine lines and wrinkles, dark spots, or any change to firmness. This product also has turmeric, and it's a distilled fraction turmeric oil. This has a lot of antioxidants, kind of does the same thing, protecting us from what the environment is doing to our face. And it also has ginger root extract, which will help soothe skin. This product is both vegan and cruelty-free. If we look at the ratings, it has a 3.9 star out of 5 with 339 reviews. 3.9, I don't consider that a good rating because a lot of people either rate really low or really high. If you have anything in the threes, it means that it's pretty equal. If you have something in four or five, it means it has way more five-star ratings. In this case, it does have 199 five-stars and 54 one-stars, so of course it does lean more to the five-star rating. When I was looking at the reviewers, especially on Sephora, anybody with oily or acne-prone or combination skin, those were the most likely to say that they didn't like the product. So this might be a better product for dry skin. Sunday Riley says it's best for normal, dry, and combination skin. So definitely doesn't say it's good for oily skin. A lot of the negative reviewers say that it caused acne for them. And again, that is mostly for the combination and oily skin reviewers. There are also a few negative comments about the scent either being too strong or just the person not liking it. A lot of the positives say that it did increase brightness on their skin and also that the product absorbs really well. The next product that was spoiled for Boost Your Box is the Kate Somerville Wrinkle Warrior Hydration Gel. This product is their 1.7 ounce and again it is $80 retail value. Again, this is a really high value price so hopefully we get a pretty good discount. The key ingredients for this, it has HA3. HA3 is hyaluronic acid but in three different sizes. I talk about hyaluronic acid a lot on this channel. Hyaluronic acid holds 1,000 times its own weight in water, so it actually absorbs a lot of water into your face as long as you're using it properly. The best way is to use it either in a very humid climate or to add a moisturizer on top so it pulls that moisturizer into your skin. The best form of hyaluronic acid is sodium hyaluronate. This one does have sodium hyaluronate listed on the ingredients list. Looking at the ingredients list, this also contains several silicones, so if you are avoiding silicones, if silicones don't agree with your skin type, then this is not the right booster for you. It does show that they had clinically proven results, and it said after just one use, 100% had instant improvement in hydration, and after one week of use, 100% showed reduction in fine lines and wrinkles, 94% reported the product visibly repairs dry dehydrated skin. The fact that they're both at 100, I've actually never seen that at clinical results. Usually it's like 98%, 99%. Not trying to say the results are wrong, I've just never seen 100% on any of the clinical results that I've seen for other products. And Kate Somerville is a cruelty-free certified brand by PETA. This one does not really have any reviews. Well, it has reviews, but it's less than 10 reviews for this specific product. But it was in an Ipsy box. I usually don't use Ipsy or any other of the subscription boxes for reviews, but this has a 4.7 star rating with 14,519 reviewers for Ipsy. The reason I don't like to use it is sometimes if you read the reviews, people just say, I didn't want skincare. So you might get a negative review. It has nothing to do with the quality of the product. And the last item for Booster Box is the Christoph Robin Regenerating Hair mask. This is the 250 milliliter container and it is a $71 retail value. So actually all of them are around the same retail value. According to Christoph Robin, this works for straight, wavy, curly, and coily hair. It also works for fine, medium, and thick hair. 
and it's supposed to hydrate, restore damage, restore split ends, and any breakage and protect color. The key ingredient is prickly pear seed oil. This is actually my favorite oil for skincare. I have not tried it in hair care before, but I love it for skincare. It has 85% unsaturated fatty acid. Also, if it's unrefined, it is a zero in the non-comedogenic scale. And it's very rich and full of antioxidants. Antioxidants protect against damage from free radicals. Free radicals include UV rays, pollution, our environment, all of that good stuff. And they do cause damage to our skin. And I'm assuming our hair because this is the number one product in a hair oil. This is a really great ingredient. I don't know if it's as good for your hair as it is for your skin because I've only ever used it on my skin. But overall, her reviews are pretty good. It has a 4.2 star rating with 1,138 reviews, and that's across multiple sites. For the negative reviews, it was mostly about the scent. People were saying it smells like baby powder or it smells like grandma. Most of them said baby powder though, but there are a couple that said either old lady or grandma scent. And there were a few that said, I'm not that impressed. This is just basically a conditioner or deep conditioner, but there were way more reviews that said they saw a significant difference. And now let's just do a quick shop with me in the add-on sale. I am not going to buy everything I put in my cart. The way that I do this is I put anything that even remotely sounds interesting to me in my cart. And if it's sold out, I add it to my favorites. Then I do all of my research and all of my research videos will be coming soon. Hopefully I'll have the first one ready by tomorrow. You'll see that I already started with 10 items in my cart. The reason is the site kept crashing this morning. If anybody was on it right at 9 a.m., you know that it was crashing this morning. So I had 10 things in my cart already, but you'll see those and you'll also see anything else that I added to my cart as I went through. I'm gonna play some music. I'm not gonna talk about these items because you will get enough of that when I do all of the research and it'll go a lot faster if I don't talk about it. Whatever I end up with, probably it ends up being like a thousand dollar cart, who knows. I like to work that down to $200 or less. I'm not always successful, but I, you know I get a lot in add-ons. If you have the same strategy and you put a lot in your cart, make sure you remove it because you are billed no matter what. There's no getting out of that bill.
first But here I am Cause I've been laying under palm trees Waiting for the summer Knowing there's nowhere to go Cause I am happy on this island Wanna be my fun left I don't ever want to leave I'm actually a little bummed to see that there wasn't more pumpkin spice because they have so much pumpkin spice spoiled in the box. I was really hoping there would be a lot in the add-on sale too. Like maybe they heard me last year or heard all of us because every time I mention pumpkin spice, everybody's all on board. So I'm a little bummed I didn't see too much of that. There's a lot of really cute clothing. I haven't received any FabFitFun clothing, so I don't know if it's good or not. You could see there is an out of stock or sold out section already. I was on this pretty early. I would say maybe 20 or 30 minutes in, this always happens where there's a sold out section. What I do in the sold out section is I add it to favorites and I keep checking back on my favorites because there will always be somebody removing something from their cart. Literally it never fails and I tend to get most of the things that I put on my favorites list. That is everything I added to my cart and that is the add-on sale and the boost your box research. Already doing the research as you're watching this right now, I am researching products. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys next time. Bye!